It seems. Spy versus Spy. Allah, Mad Magazine. In a recently released Canadian Security Intelligence Service publication, Far From Home, a Travel Security Guide. I have always been fascinated since birth with the cloak and dagger stuff, be it technical signals intelligence or social human intelligence. Specifically, as an old-time privacy buff, I keep situationally aware of all methods, no matter whom the source. Let's analyze the current threat environment, shall we? Travel. First of all, just stay home if you can. We are all relatively more safe in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and the European Union than we are in backwards countries that jail and torture civilians long time without due process for minor or made-up offenses. Countries such as Iran, Syria, Saudi Arabia, Russia, North Korea, China, Andrea, Belarus, Egypt, or Venezuela, for example. Customs and airport security. Don't walk around with small packets of sugar up your bum. Bring a burner phone without pornography, but not a dumb burner phone. Being a Luddite could get you sent to second screening. If the phone is wiped of contacts and old call logs, they will think you are hiding something. Do not tick off transport security. They can touch you in ways only a Chester the molester could dream of. Remember, you have absolute zero control at border crossings. Luggage. Did you pack your bags yourself? Are you carrying any gifts from others? You don't need to be Sherlock Holmes. If y'all don't know what you got, dump it before you meet the plastic gloves. Never leave your bags alone. Vladimir Putin could stick a perfume bottle of Novichuk in there while you had your head turned. Passports. Your poorly designed, quote, camouflaged passport from the Conch Republic or Principality of Sealand micronations just ain't going to pass gas these days. Also, a valid visa means more than just a canceled maxed out credit card. Biometrics. Facial recognition has killed anonymity. So leave your Guy Fox mask at home. They know exactly who you are the second you walk past a CCTV. Consular visits. The embassy cannot do jack all for y'all unless you are a diplomat. So don't get sent to Lubyanka's basement in the first place. Seriously, all your home government can do is tell family you are banged up abroad. Joint Task Force 2 is not going on a rescue mission for your sorry behind. Top secret documents. Put them in a burn bag or diplomatic pouch, just like Air America smuggled heroin in Tide soap powder boxes during Viet freaking Nam. Loose lips. They sink ships in all five oceans. Keep your app shut when strangers start asking probing questions, such as being asked if you know any whores by a taxi cab driver. The very next day you may have not or have got lucky. Or being asked in a bar full of evil neo-Nazis about your cell phone's battery life by so-called musicians who do not know diddly swat about musical instruments. Or being approached alone in other bars being asked questions out of the blue about autonomous self-driving vehicles and other things that interest you. Or being met on subway trains by so-called homeless people who are poorly faking a mental illness with an empty folding shopping cart pretending to bin for liquor containers without picking up two beer cans right under the seat beside them. Or other so-called homeless people who are well-dressed with fake dirt on their face, holding well-designed donation boxes, standing on street corners at three in the morning when there is absolutely no traffic other than an endless stream of empty taxi cabs. Or pretend lovebirds who are clearly uncomfortable kissing each other just to avoid attention. Or people who follow you to a bus stop assuming you're getting on a Pacific bus and then flunk when you backtrack and follow you on the actual bus you were planning to get on in the first place. 
or people who sit right next to you in wide open empty malls and peek at your laptop screen or documents, then get startled to high holy hell when you start following them after you pretend to leave. Or anyone who verbally, verbally calls you an undercover cop in front of everyone in public and then just seconds later tries to push drugs on you. Or people who mirror image your personality to solicit fake friendships. Listen, I could go on and on, but I'll digress to the next subject. Electronics and telecommunications. Being a white hat cybersecurity buff, I cannot confirm or deny everything is hackable and or wiretappable. Oh, who am I kidding? We all know computers and smartphones are broken. Every enemy foreign nation and almost any kid in their mom's basement can remotely activate your webcam or microphone. There are thousands of Metasploit scripts and nice point and click remote access Trojans out there. All it takes is a Google search or dark web purchase using cryptocurrency. Heck, just type auto pawn, A-U-T-O-P-W-N into YouTube for Pete's sake. Both the Central Intelligence Agency and National Security Agency's red team tools have been leaked and used in massive destructive attacks by bad actors who are continuing their assault on democracy. Assume your laptop is keylogged. Assume your calls are recorded. Russia's Federal Security Service and Maine Intelligence Directorate had access to every single Yahoo email account and every single Yahoo email. Blue team forever. USB flash drives found on the ground never. I have a direct message from Moscow, a direct message. Please stop emailing me macro virus infected Microsoft Word documents and requests. Request to change my email password. China is physically backdooring all your hardware and any evil maid can insert hardware implants directly into your digital devices in under 10 seconds. Elicitation and cultivation. Beware of narcissistic sociopaths buttering you up. Learn the traits and realize you're being used. They want to take you down with them. Don't do anything for anyone that you would not otherwise do yourself. Trust no one. Your apartment and self-storage lockers. Bump keys are available online that can crack your tumbler lock in a second. No lock picking skill required. Your new neighbors in the apartment right above you that is supposed to be vacant according to the landlord but contains nothing but a suspiciously out-of-place air mattress, could stick cameras down your windows and microphones down your ventilation staff shafts. Don't think your storage locker is anonymous. Be aware of cars following you through the gates without entering their security code that would otherwise be required to de-alarm their own non-existent depository. Illegal drugs and chemical analogs. Don't have them on you. Don't let anyone plant them on you. Don't manufacture them, don't order them online, and don't do them at all. Real law enforcement officers are not powerless spies, and prison is absolute hell. Worse yet, it could be tainted with car fentanyl or just be total bunk. Enough said. Lying and stealing. Tell the truth or shut up. In the digital age, everything can be verified. We all live online now, whether we know it with our Facebook account or not. The internet is everything now. If you have a smartphone, your location is tracked 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year by everyone on planet Earth. Consider buying a trustworthy and sturdy Faraday cage bag or use a phone with a removable battery. You cannot get away with crimes in a total police state. Your enemy knows everything. Honey traps. Sex? Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. Being schizotypal, I get lucky to get unprotectively laid once a year. If I get the chance to cuddle up with a beautiful woman, or a passable female, without reaching for my wallet, I know something for damn sure is up. Look, there is always the chance your sexual encounter could be on candid camera and uploaded to Pornhub. Unless you are married and fear being blackmailed to your wife, who cares? Just check your partner's identification, verify all the holographic security features like a bartender or a bouncer would, making sure that C, Z, or Zer is kosher of age. Kosher of age. Social media. It's really just a list of your family and friends 
for enemy intelligence agencies and trolls like Brad Carter of the Phone Losers of America, shouts and greets, to harass. The internet is not Las Vegas. Without end-to-end encryption, everything is public and stays nowhere. Psychological operations. Alex Jones of InfoWars and other right-wing extremist conspiracy theory nutcases could be paid agents of the criminally corrupt Russian government who are making a fortune spreading disinformation. Get to truth, double-check your facts, avoid looking like an ignorant lemming. If somebody told you drinking bleach cures cancer, would you try it? Don't be stupid. Garbage. As a childhood preteen foam preak, someone who is not me used to love jumping in the big BFI bin behind his local Matt Bell central office. Lots of great big techie books, unshredded documents that may or may not have contained some very important data like switching system logins, gently used hardware, software CD-ROMs, and anything else hidden under dirty, wet coffee grinds. If you toss stuff in the trash, it's public game. Assume someone will rummage through it. This is exactly how police get your DNA in a database. Virtual or vertical only paper shredders are useless. Identity theft. If a bad actor walks into a bank or applies for a loan online and convinces the bank to give them currency, which banks just digitally manufacture out of thin air, why is it considered your fault? The banks and credit agencies are putting the burden on you for their incompetence and lack of due diligence. Credit agencies and debt collectors don't honestly give a damn if you're a victim of fraud. The Equifax data breach and their handling of it proves this fact. If you're a victim of fraud, I'm going to directly quote the Canadian Security Intelligence Service on this in my upper class high accent. Call the police! Call the police! Violent criminals. Being a Winnipegger whose hometown hero is Sir William Stevenson, the real James Bond who led the secret intelligence service, otherwise known as MI6, founded the Office of Strategic Services, which would become the Central Intelligence Agency, and designed Camp X, There are countless vagrants in my city, my city, my city, Winnipeg, ready to stab you in the back with a shiv over five bucks, a pack of smokes, or a half-drunk beer. So don't preach to the choir, okay? Remember, have a plan and a backup plan. Travel smart and have a good one, eh?